Hi everyone, Mary Lou Andre back again with another edition of Beyond Dressing Well Live. This is our very special welcome spring episode. It's been a while since I've been here on my couch and I'm really excited to go through our top 10 list with you all tonight and get you super energized to tackle spring. Get in your closet, see what's in there, do a little shopping. I've got my green sweater on for St. Patrick's Day, but March is an awesome month. It is really about new beginnings. The earth is waking up. There are flowers everywhere. My husband bought me these today. Aren't they pretty? Keeping me company. And you can just see how all the colors, the pinks, the yellows, the greens, the blues, that's not the only color story this season. There's a lot of neutrals out there. There's a lot of creams and a lot of beiges, but it certainly is really nice to take our cues from nature and add some fresh color now that spring is in the air. And I know a lot of, a lot of you are uh, coming in from different parts of the country, even the world. Say hello in the chat. Let us know where you are. I know we have a lot of folks on that spend a lot of time in Florida and California and North and South Carolina. I promise you that there is something for you in this awesome half hour as well. So the name of tonight's program again is Spring Forward. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mary Lou Andre, the founder of of dressing well and Sarah Zengo is over in the chat Sarah and I run everything over here at dressing well Sarah is our senior consultant and we have a great time planning and bringing this program to you um, live this year we are doing it seasonally we jumped off we kicked off our awesome new program dressing well insiders if you are not in that program if you like this live show you belong in that group uh, Sarah will get some links in there I see a lot of folks in the in the uh, chat hello Janet I just saw you come in hello Patricia Coronite uh, give that program some love if you're in insiders tell folks how great it is we we had our March session last week and I really did a whole tutorial. I am doing some of my best teaching in that group, but I am ripping apart my own closet. I am going step by step. I am talking about the mindset, the dressing well mindset, and I am going to make an assumption since you're all here tonight um, that you love clothes. So hello, Cindy Wellahan. She is an insider as well. Um, so we do have a couple of prizes and announcements as we go through our journey tonight. Um, but we are really focused on kind of shaking out winter, embracing spring. And even if you live in a climate that's a little bit warmer, it's always nice right about now. I always say this is right at the end of quarter one to kind of look at what you were wearing, what you can bring forward in the next couple of months. And then I went shopping for all of you today as I usually do. Hello, friend Leonard from Mansfield. She's also one of our insiders. Hello. Renee. Um, please say hello. Let us know where you're calling in from. Um, but I went shopping today and I have, I got home so late. <laughs> I haven't even taken some of the stuff out of the bags yet. But there is so much going on in the March uh, month of, of March. Of course, we just said it, it is it is the season of new beginnings. And last Friday, we had International Women's Day, which was so fun. I love seeing all the social media posts put in the chat. If you, if you uh, celebrated International Women's Day, I hope you did. We all need to. Sarah kicked off our March schedule the week before, March 1st. She was the guest speaker over at Fontbonne Academy here in the Boston area and she did a delightful morning with the students. I think it was the junior class, correct me Sarah if I'm wrong, uh, but she spoke to about 70 young women on everything from executive presence, interview tips, and of course dressing well. So we have been really busy. The Academy Awards were Sunday night and I actually shifted a couple of my top 10 picks after I watched that. So I'll show you what sparked my interest, putting the chat if you watched the academies I know that is always a night that I sit on my my couch and boy wasn't that um uh 
I am Ken presentation. That that blew my mind. I had to look it up and, and watch it again on Monday morning. I thought that was absolutely uh, just spectacular. So um, we had uh, the Oscars that influenced style. We also, of course, have St. Patrick's Day in the middle of March, which is really fun. And as you guys all know, I live my life with my clothes. I love my clothes. It's a very artistic expression for me. So whenever there's a holiday in the month, Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day, I try to incorporate that as well. So I'll get into that a little bit. And I'm leaving for my annual trip to Florida on Saturday. So I'll show you a couple of things that I've picked up. I'm going to do most of my shopping down in Florida. I love to hit the boutiques, but I did do a little shopping that I will show you. And of course, Easter is so early this year. So if you celebrate Easter, I do. I always like to have a couple of options. The option of it's freezing cold, the option of it's really hot, and the dressier option and the option that's a little bit more casual which is how most people are living today and we also have a couple of our seasonal charity events kicking off this month we uh, celebrate dress for success Boston on the 28th of March uh, they have their annual event and we've got a table of, of, of 10 we are going to celebrate dress for success and then April 6th we have Bell the ball so we have so much going on right now so much happiness and joy and I will share as many tips as I can that will kind of help you also think about what's on your calendar what are the options am I going to shop in my closet am I going to add color am I, I going to you know maybe do a update my shoe wardrobe this spring there is so much going on in footwear by the way and I have tons of stuff to show you so I think that I got through my announcements um one more I am nine people away from hitting uh 2,000 followers on Instagram so if you've got your phone out and you're not following us on Instagram, it's Mary Lou Andre style. That would mean so much to, to me to, if you guys could help me hit that 2K number. We have done all of our social media growth organically. Um, so I like to get people on our list that actually know us and, and follow us. So I wanted to share that. And then the last announcement, and we will get into the top 10, is if you would like to join insiders and again there's tons of people on the line that are in that program it is phenomenal it is probably one of the best programs we've ever done here i am bringing some of my best new content it's giving me the ability to really introduce some awesome concepts because we have more time it's a full hour it's the first monday of the month so the next one is coming up April 1st. If you are interested in that program, put insiders in the chat. We're going to pick two people to get guest passes to join us on Monday night, April 1st. If you can't be in there person, we do. There's always a replay. You get 10 shopping links. Um, I always say people come for the content and they stay for the community. The women in there are loving the breakouts. They're loving you're on Zoom with me and Sarah. We, we run a really tight ship and it's such a wonderful way to really do a deep dive on our philosophy. And if you join Insiders, Sarah will put the links up. If you join Insiders between now and Friday night, we are doing a really special program on Saturday, April 13th. Sarah is hosting it. It is a, our first Insider's Closet Jam. Sarah's hosting it. It's a Saturday morning, 9.30 to 11.30. She'll kick it off at 9.30, get you guys super energized. She's going to then deploy you to your closet, and she's going to stay on the line for two hours. So if you're like, is this jacket dated? Do you like this color on me? Are these the right shape pant? You can come back on the Zoom and ask Sarah, go back into your closet, but that's only for insiders. If you join by um, this Friday night, um, you can also get access to that program which is wonderful and again we are going to give away uh two guest spots too so if you go ahead and join you'll also be put into that 
uh, guest spot as well. It's a monthly program, so it's easy for us to do that. It's $24 a month, $24.99 a month, and people are telling us the money they're saving from not shopping is worth the fee alone. So that's what I wanted to share about that. So again, insiders in the chat, and we're going to pick two people to be guests in April. And then, of course, if you'd like to join, and I think you, if you like this show, it is this show on steroids, um, definitely consider it. So here we are marching towards spring. Spring is officially starting on the 21st. Sometimes it's the 20th, sometimes it's the 21st. We'll go with the 21st. Uh, 21st of March. And this is the time of year um, where you really want to get your closet kind of freshened up, do the first pass, get the darks, get the blacks out of there. If you haven't seen our blog, you might even want to grab it while I'm going through tonight's program because Sarah did an amazing job. It is beautifully photographed. So every tip has nine photos. So I'm gonna do some show and tell and kind of show you how to implement some of the styles. But if you really want eye candy and train your eye for some of these amazing trends, not every picture is for everybody. We try to put enough different types of models in there so that you guys can all kind of find your style. As you know, if you've been on this show for a while, hello, Aline, how are you? Um, you, um, my goal is always to have you take two or three, two or three things away that really resonate with you. So number one on that list, oh, and I thought I had the list with me and I don't. Sarah's going to have to put them up for me. I thought I had the list in my hand, but I kind of know it off the top of my head. Number one is about refreshing the base. So right now, getting rid of that, a lot of that heavy black. Um, of course, black is a neutral and it can go into spring well. But what we're doing with our clients right now and what most of the catalogs, and I was just at the mall, there's so much navy and cream and brown. So re refreshing the base means getting rid of that really winter stuff just so that you, you can breathe and you can kind of see the possibilities. I just had a client who I was supposed to see in person this week and something happened and I couldn't go. And she's like, what should I do just to, and she's gone away. So we're not going to get together till April. And by the way, my goal is always, always to have all of winter packed away by April because it's chilly here in New England. Like I can't pack away everything um, when it's still, it could even snow here in April. It's happened before. But anyway, I said to her, just get that stuff out of there that's, that's you're done with and you're going to just have a brand new lighter, fresher breath about your closet. And she wrote back to me, said, you're absolutely right. I got all that stuff out of there and I can, I'm good. Like, she, I think she's going to New York this weekend. She's like, I'm good. I can, I can bring some new stuff in and, um, et cetera. So I just wanted to share that with you. And it also, when I talk about refreshing the base, it's also about switching out your skinny jeans for a fuller cut pant. If that's of interest to you, I'm a skinny girl jean girl so i don't i'm not getting rid of them all but definitely a wider leg and there's many different versions i've got a couple things here to show you know the, the leg the the uh the fuller cut pant is still going strong and it's still going long so crop styles are not completely out but i do know my eye is going these are from athletica athleta i'm sorry um and this, these I got for my trip, but Athleta has really nice linen and gauze right now, and they have them from extra, extra small all the way to 3X, but it's like a longer, again, these are going to Florida, these are linen, um, but it's kind of that getting used to that new silhouette. And it's also about, and I don't have my, uh, Sarah, help me out here because I can see what you're posting. You know, we have um, freshening, up, freshening up the base again is the color, um, the jeans, uh, that kind of thing. And I think when we have, um, when we're thinking about what to add, I know, again, there's a lot of navy and creams that I was just with a client last Friday, just one of my very good clients' daughter, Kate is 40, and she was just blown away at how much we did with cream. 
and it looked just so spectacular on her. So number two uh, on our top 10 list is all about um, uh, shades of green. I mean, it's you. It's St. Patrick's Day in the month. We think that everybody is Irish in the month of March. So everybody has a shade of green that's good on them. I'm wearing my St. Patty's Day sweater. And, you know, also I'm going to be in Florida on on Sunday when it's St. Patrick's Day. And my maiden day name is Sullivan after all. So I definitely celebrate. Mary Courtney O'Sullivan, if you're on the line, I always think of you on St. Patrick's Day. But I always have my bling, my little dollar store bling. So I will probably have this on at the beach with my, uh, I do have a green bathing suit. I also have a white bathing suit and I have some white gauze. And when I was at the store today, did like my little shop around. Where did I go? I went to Nordstrom. I hung it up already. But I even grabbed this green gauze shirt from Nordstrom. It's the house brand. We'll get some links up for you tomorrow as well. But I know that the reason I grabbed it is I have white gauze pants. This can go to the beach with me. It's green. I'm going to be there with no tan. I'm going to want the sun protection. But again, the mindset is, what is your color story? How do you want to feel in your clothes? Are celebrating certain holidays important to you? I even have my my little Susie Q socks that somebody gave me as a gift. <laughs> so I might even have these on. I do have my, my little sandals from Canyon Ranch. I was lucky enough to go to Canyon Ranch. But, you know, even doing something like this. I wear socks and sandals. I'm always freezing. But even doing something like this... Um, with white jeans and a green sweater. You know, just have fun with the holiday. Um, the other thing that I did when I was packing away all of my winter stuff, and I shared this on the Insiders Club, I got it down to about six sweaters that um, I would wear now through April. And they all just ended up being, you know, my off-white. So this is wool and it's warm but it's definitely bright. This one doesn't owe me a nickel. I have worn this so hard this year. I showed this, I think this was one of my top picks in the fall, but it's cream and it's lightweight. And a Mary Courtney O'Sullivan, my good friend, gave me this scarf last year and it's got, um, you know, the scarf and my son and his girlfriend and the whole crew are going into St. Patty's Parade in Boston and I'm going to leave this out. They're going to be here watching Susie for me. So I'm going to leave the scarf out because someone's going to want to wear this into Boston. But that's what I mean. Like just get all your stuff together for the month. And right now we're really talking about the season. And when I got rid of all the sweaters that I didn't wear, and I just left out the ones, like I had this on all weekend because it was still chilly. And then I had, you know, I put the scarf that Mary gave me with those sweaters. I also have this Irish sweater that I actually got in Ireland and I love it. And that goes so nicely with all the creams as well. And of course I got my jeans on here. All of these sweaters go with jeans and one of our top picks is the shacket, which is half jacket, half shirt. It's a great thing to wear. And I already have that. You know, I got this, I think, two years ago. I had this on today. So you start to see how, and this is the shacket. It's like a jacket and a shirt with jeans, with a pop of color, with the Irish sweater. Uh, this is lightweight, it's not lined. That's how you start to put the outfit together. Uh, cream is really in, and because I don't have my <laughs> my notes, I'm seeing Sarah here put them up. Denim shirts is coming up, but if we go into completing that that look, like my I'll take I'll take my dollar store bling off now. But if I stay on my, you know, the sweater again with the shacket, the other big trend, patent leather is always popular this time of year. A lot of people, I just was sharing that with one of our clients. Um, we've been putting 
links in the group every Thursday. Put in the chat if you like those. Sarah does a really nice job with those. But we put the black patent um, in last week. And I said, don't steal my thunder with the cream. But cream and Lisa Livens, if you're on the line, I saw these on a picture. Hi, Aline Chef. Nice to see you. Aline is also in Insiders. Again, put Insiders in the chat if you want to win one of two uh, guest passes for our next session, which is April 1st, April Fool's Day. And again, if you'd like to uh, join by, by this Friday, uh, you'll be able to go to Sarah's Awesome Closet Jam, two hours, Saturday, April 13th, where you just go to your closet, put the time on your calendar, and then you have an expert um, on the line helping you decide if, if things should stay or they should go. So cream patent leather, and what I love about these is the lug sole. So why it stays a little muddy and not so great, we haven't had any snow up here this year, but um, it just kind of protects it. These, these boots are everywhere too. I went to a Bruins game two weeks ago, had a blast. Boy, was I able to study what all these young people were wearing, but a lot of the girls had on the cream boots. And one of the things that I love about the longer, leaner jeans, so it's a fuller pant right now, and it's a high waist, full cut. If you're someone that's like, oh, I don't know if that's too much, these with crop pants or even leggings are very noticeable. If you wear something like this with a pant that's got a flare, you're not all feet. The other thing I love about the, that trend, which is the fuller cut pant, is if you have some shoes in your, and I had some here a minute ago, I don't know where they went. If you have um, some shoes in your wardrobe that are a little bit dated or they're from a couple seasons ago, I don't have any here with me but those you can hide a lot of your shoe so i have these suede wedge heels like suede booties and they're wedge and they're super comfortable but they've been kind of dated i put them on the other day with a pair of kind of exaggerated jeans and they were fantastic i was able to get the heel height they're lighter they're tan they're not black they're not white i'm not quite ready to go here yet um and if that makes sense, there's get all your booties out, uh, get um, what you have and, and start to play with, with your closet. So um, Fran Leonard saying she loves the new kick crop jeans, Madewell. Madewell's amazing. I was in there today, Fran. Didn't have any time to try anything on, but I am a huge Madewell fan as well. So we've talked about Refresh the Base. We've talked about St. Patty's Day. Another tip with St. Patty's Day is just like get all your green out. Like just bring it all out. I have a, I have a green bag. I have, of course, I'm going to be in Florida, so some of my cool wool green stuff isn't going to make the cut. But you start to just say, huh, I don't really need to go shopping. Or I've got all this cool stuff. I'm just going to get a really cool St. Patty's sweatshirt. Sweatshirts are really in as well. So we talked about St. Patty's. Then I saw Sarah put in their denim shirts. And the reason that denim shirts made the cut is because I try to be really practical. As you guys know, our motto here is everyday style made easy. And just giving people little things. Hello, Marty. Little things that are easy and smart but make them feel awesome. And the denim shirts, and I've been playing this game for a long time um, with my private clients, and my lovely insiders already saw this, but I'm so proud of this, I have to show it again. So this is a lightweight uh, denim shirt. Talbot's has some nice ones. This is the Nordstrom, it's from a couple of years ago, uh, Calson brand, and I was at our cape house a couple weeks ago getting all my stuff for florida and to be honest i wear this shirt a ton to the beach so i grabbed it and then i had this sweatshirt which i really love i had this like folded in the bottom of my closet and sweatshirts are are really in right now so i got home and i was playing with it and i put this under this which a lot of times you're thinking what fabrics can I wear right now when it's still chilly, but I really want to be out of my wool? I, I run very cold, but there's a lot of people that run hot. So having cotton and cotton on your skin is going to be a lot cooler than if you have the wool. And then I'm wearing this with a really baggy pair. Do I have them? I don't think I have them here. Um, 
a boy cut jean. So jean on jean definitely works. That's something people ask us all the time. And if you're someone that's a little shy about the whole jean on jean, just see how the navy kind of breaks it up. So you're, you're creating a break in the color. Um, but I just wanted to show you that. The other thing I love about the jean shirts, and I also sh shared this on our insiders as well, but a heavier jean shirt, this is Levi's, is, and this is kind of what I wear in the summer on our boat, you know, when it's like I need to have something that that's warm and protects me from the, the sun. But it, you could even like go to the gym in this. And I was just fooling around with some of my leggings. So I can wear these leggings because I kind of out of my black right now. And then throw all your scarves on the bed. But I had this scarf forever. I never even wear it. But you see what I mean? Like I just put like a little white t-shirt and I put this and this together and put on a pair of sneakers. These are my new sneakers, by the way, that I bought for my trip. I am loving them. They've got the gold on them. Aren't they cute? And they also capture, I know I'm going all over the place, Sarah. I'm probably making you crazy. Hello, Elaine Stokes. Um, but I love these. And they're, they have the crochet. They have the gold. So the new, the new stuff with the shoes right now, I always say I have like my spring shoe lineup. I always have a booty that has a little preparation, you know what I mean? Like a little air conditioning. So I have those and you guys have seen them a hundred times because I've had them for a while on the show, but they're this color. So I'm wearing those really hard right now and they're shaped like cowboy boots with a little bit of a heel, which elevates these longer jeans. I always have fashion sneakers and I've showed you guys these a hundred times. They're still out there and they're also picking up that crochet trend. What I love about these is they go into spring and into fall really nicely because they're cream. They're not stark white. And then this was one of my splurges last year. Still very relevant. These are my paw green. They're creamier. They're not stark white. But when I go to Florida on Saturday, you know, this is what I'll have with me. And I'll wear these when I need to down in Florida. And then I picked up these. They're the same brand as these. So I know they fit my foot. And I know they're comfortable. And I just loved it because you, we are seeing a lot of gold come into the marketplace. I can take these to Florida. And then when I come back, I refuse for it not to be spring or summer when I come back. I'll go right into those. So... I think number four was the denim shirt, um, the long, narrow pants we just talked about. Um, going back to the gold and Cindy Reed, if you're on the call, this is coming at you. I always shop for my buddy Cindy when I, um, this isn't on the top 10, but what I really loved about this is when I saw these little sneakers with the gold, uh, all of our clients are looking for fun layering pieces. And this is actually silver and this is gold and it just works really well together and she could do it with a sneaker with white jeans she could also do this pretty dressy heading out so the shoes are really again the fashion sneakers the comfortable sneakers you're seeing kind of that boho urban look with with socks why it stays chilly and then the biggest trend and i took this off the oscars i i didn't even have the oscars on for five minutes when i said up oh, there's the trend i was looking for for the top 10. they were everywhere the mary janes are back big time so here they are in the classic patent they're 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 flat they're pointy heel they're round toe heeled the thing that makes them, their signature is the strap. But I, I grabbed this pair of cream. The, a lot of our clients are always looking for beige once the spring hits because you can wear beige, lightens up black. It looks great with navy. It looks great with color. So I thought those are really cool. And then I grabbed this very affordable pair, Steve Madden silver in their flats. And Sarah did, if you haven't seen the blog yet, Sarah, please get the, the blog uh, link up there. Sarah had so many cool examples. She even had some that had ties with the strap. So you're seeing these everywhere. 
The other really cool thing about this Mary Jane, Mary Jane Brady, if you're out there, it's your shoe year, is if you're still wanting to wear nylons, if you don't want to go right to bare legs just yet, and, and a lot of our clients, and it doesn't matter on about age anymore, everybody's asking us, uh, Billy. Eilish at the at the Acad at the Oscar she had on uh, Mary Jane's in uh, socks. If you noticed her outfit, boy, what an amazing singer that young woman is. But what we like to do with this is put like a fishnet knee high, or or is that the right word, knee high, or fishnet sock. You know what I mean? So with the strap. It's got more cloud and actually goes into spring easier. So you're seeing how all these different patent leathers really lighten up the whole, um, uh, what brand were the neutral Mary Janes? They are Nordstrom brand, Palo, P-A-O-L-O. -O. We'll get this in the link, but aren't they, they are sharp and they're comfortable. So that was a big, big trend. And again, it's twofold. It's the interesting colored pattern and uh, patent leather. And then it's also um, the Mary Jane look. So Sarah, how are we doing here? What else is on my rack? I talked about the shackets. Um, oh, I can talk about orange. Orange is everywhere. And when you wear it with the green, isn't that pretty? And so you guys know I practice what I preach. I have, so trench coats are really, they're never not in style but really stylized trench coats are in. So this is my little trench that I've had forever. This thing should write me a check. It's, believe it or not, it's looking a little dated because it's so slim, everything's baggier. And that is on my list to get a new trench coat. I had one that I loved that I left, left at a client's meeting and downtown Boston to even get me started but it was it was definitely that oversized coat that I love but what I did to kind of update this because it's expensive this is a can't remember this is Max Mara this little coat I've had this for at least 10 years when I saw the cream leather crossbody do you see how that updates it so if it stays cold I could even do, I can't get a lot under this, and I still do wear my slim pants. I'm not completely into all of the really baggy and long look, but I could do this with a black pant, black turtleneck, and this bag, this little crossbody bag, really updates it. I'm also a huge fan of a tote this time of year. We did a wonderful blog. Our last blog was all about totes, if you missed it. If you're not getting our blogs and, and e-newsletters, I just started a new newsletter called uh, Style and Inspiration. If you guys didn't see it yet, I did a, I did one a couple weeks ago called The um, the Art of Being a Badass Grandma. People loved it, but it was just, we're going to go behind the scenes and profile some of our really cool clients and give you some behind the scenes stuff. But um, if you're not getting um, our blog, we did a really great one on totes and the trend with the trench coats right now is if you finish off that trench coat with a tote, so sharp. And what I love about trend, what I love about totes right now is we're all like carrying an extra sweater. We're all um, carrying maybe a flat pair of shoes to get into Boston. We spend more time out of the house. I love what you, when you can put your crossbody bag, your flats, your scarf, your sweater right in the bag. So the other reason why, and I got this sweater today at J. Jill, because I went by and they had wonderful color in, in the window. Um, I've had this little trench coat. It's J. Crew. It's very old. I've had this for a long time. But you see how it has the orange there? And when I was playing around with my clothes, I thought, and somebody somewhere asked me about um, turtlenecks in the spring. So whoever you are, this is for you. 
I discovered in my wardrobe, because I did not go shopping, for all the insiders on the call, you guys know our whole insiders call last week was all about the prep work, like the mindset and getting your closet ready to receive. It was about storing things. This episode is about the fun, the eye candy. And I said to myself, wouldn't it be fun? I, A, I need some lightweight sweaters. So I can wear this all summer. It's cotton, but I can wear it right now. I put it on and this looks like a scarf. So this neck is actually really pretty. We have lots of clients that are always trying to cover. I'm actually, the, the, the sweater I have on right now does that. But I thought, I just love the idea of wearing that with the orange like I'm gonna wear this now with a pair of jeans you know everything is about popping the collar I've got the navy you know this one is I'm not gonna get rid of this but it is black and I've had it for a long time this I've had for a long time but I haven't been wearing it and I just feel like when I get back from Florida I'm gonna wear this hard because it's paired so think about how you are what you need Go through your closet first and make a list. This is all tied right to our methodology. The dressing well, the two oh, that Boston accent just came out. That dressing well methodology is check in with your lifestyle. That pie chart will never steer you wrong. How much of my time is uh, business casual, business professional? How much time do I need for social casual? working out. Every, a lot of people have weddings. Put in the chat if you have a wedding. You know, where is your pie chart? And then the next step is all about getting organized, packing winter away, making things that you've had in there for winter work into spring. And a lot of times it's just, you know, adding right now a St. Patrick's Day pop. It could be, you know, that orange is looking really fresh right now, green. Um, Updating your pants if you need to do that. And I've just given you some really good information on that. Um, checking in on your outerwear. And then, you know, our list is there to really guide you because this, the third step of our methodology is to train your eye. You know, what shapes? How are you petite? Are you really tall? You know, there's all different brands. Like I, I happen to work with a lot of tall women. And I'll go and get, you know, their jeans. I'm going to get them in theory pants because it's going to fit them. Banana Republic jeans fit them. So you start to look at, you know, the four good F words. You've heard us say it before. The fit, the fabric, the function, the flair. Get your head around what. It's all about the fit first. Then it's about the fabrics as we enter a new season, as we get comfortable with our external and our internal thermostat. Everyone's different. Do you need layers? Are you gonna be sweating the minute that April 1 hits? Setting your closet up now so that you're prepared. Step number four is dreaming big, making your list, making making sure like, oh, I really, you know, I could really use an orange. It's like everything else. You put it on your list and all of a sudden it appears. I ran by the J, I don't even shop in J Jill that much. I get scarves in there, but I went in and I didn't even try it on because I knew it was gonna work. And this was on the sale rack. It was originally 89. I scored it for $34 and we're on the water all summer. I am gonna kill this thing with white jeans. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and then the fourth step is about identifying the brands. I call it your, your, your team. The brands, tailor, alterations, jewelry repair. Uh, the other thing on the list, and I can't believe I didn't mention it, the one more trend I didn't mention. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I don't have my list with me. I'm a mess in a dress tonight <laughs> without my list. But also the really fun jewelry trend is, and Sarah has is illustrated really beautifully. I don't have it. I can't believe it. I must have left it up in my dressing room because I was going to wear them. Um, but all the chain links. So the reason why they look is they're fresh and modern. Think about a chain link linked fence. And for those of you that were on our, our insiders program last week, somebody asked the question, you know, how do you make little pearls, older pearl jewelry, older chains work when you combine them with some of the chunkier jewelry that's out there now? 
Um, and I actually bought a little pearl bracelet at the mall to show you. I was doing that for you, Marsha Abbott, if you're on the line. But you can just start putting like a modern bracelet, which again is that chain link chunky's in right now, and then layer like a little tiny pearl with it. Okay, it's back, everybody. <laughs> I had a chance. The screen froze. But I went up and got my jewelry. I never waste any time. Here are the chain links that I was talking about. <laughs> Sarah, we just go into sage mode around here. When something happens, we just say, get a little zen. And I said, oh, it's gonna come back on and I'm gonna go get those um, bracelets. So this is the chain link that I was talking about. Isn't it fun? I got this at Nordstrom today, very inexpensive. And I'll show you, again, Marsha Abbott, this is for you. I saw that you posted a really great picture in the Insiders Facebook group. That program, by the way, and don't forget, put Insiders in the chat for your chance to win one of two free spots. So now I can't, anybody else can't do this anymore? I used to be able to do this with my eyes closed. Um, I'm trying, ladies, trying to get this little chain link. Sometimes when you buy it, at Nordstrom in the kids department <laughs> you do get what you pay for but I thought it was so cute and relative and inexpensive and fun and all that good stuff okay I can't get it on but then I picked up this little these pearls this is for you Marsha and you see how when you start to layer it can you guys see that and then I got this little two-tone with the chain link and my friend Cindy, if you're watching Cindy, I think you watch the replays, but you see how that just updates that. And Cindy can, she likes that extra layer. She looks great in gold. She can do white pants. She can do a black sheath dress. It's just all how you put it together. So, Sarah. Did I hit every single item? I think I got the top 10 in there. I cannot believe um, I didn't bring my notes. I always have my notes. So I'm gonna wrap up because I also didn't bring my clock down. Okay, truth be told, I was at the mall until six o'clock. I ran home, threw makeup on, and appeared on camera with all of you guys. But I, um, the timing, we also had daylight savings this, this year, and I think it messed all of us. I know it messed me up a little bit, but I was having a ball, and I was like, oh my goodness, I better get home. It's not four o'clock, it's five o'clock. Then it was six o'clock, but um, I think I did it. I hope that you all got one, two, three, maybe four fresh ideas. If you want to be considered as a guest at our April Insiders, put Insiders in the chat, and if you join this week, you will get into Sarah's awesome closet jam, which is April 13th. It's going to be a ton of fun. She's going to be on camera for two hours, on Zoom for two hours, and you can get in your own closet, rip it apart, and you'll have an expert there to say, what do you think? Is this jacket too dated? What do you think about these jeans? What? How would this shirt look better? You get the gist. And we are also, again, just saluting spring, saluting the month of March. So much going on. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all my amazing Irish friends. And again, we think that everybody's Irish in the month of March. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the evening, rest of the month. We'll be back. We're definitely going to do a spring kickoff, but we're going to come back one more time this spring and do another live show because we love doing it. And when you show up, we show up and we always have a great time. So see you later, everybody. I hope again that one or two of these tips resonated with you and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.